Samsung is about to hit Qualcomm where it hurts. What's up guys, we're back again with another back-to-back -back Galaxy S21 news. Before we talk about Samsung's ultimate plan against Qualcomm, let's quickly discuss the mega camera leak report coming regarding the Galaxy S21 Ultra camera. Straight from South Korea, it seems like Samsung is about to put some serious power when it comes to zooming capabilities of the next Galaxy S21 flagship, particularly the S21 Ultra model. We'll see a 3x10 telephoto zoom lens, then another 5x telephoto periscope zoom, so technically this means that the S21 Ultra can extend its lossless zoom capabilities up to 8x without losing any quality. Now as for the main sensor, it will be the 108 megapixel bright HM2 sensor, it's a next level compared to the one we have seen on the S20 family. And finally, we're gonna see 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and no TOF sensor. As for the front camera, Samsung is bringing back its 40 megapixel sensor, uh, which is something that they didn't actually use on the Note 20 Ultra for some reason. So that is actually coming back. I hope the sensor is bigger in size. As we have heard previously that Samsung is trying to implement the under display camera system. And in order to make it work perfectly and have enough light, we need a bigger front camera sensor, almost as big as the sensor you see on the back of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So maybe this 40 megapixel sensor is not just megapixels, but the actual sensor will be a lot bigger to make that under display camera tech possible. Again, that's that's just my assumption. We'll see more in the coming days. As for the normal Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus, don't expect huge changes. We might see some slight upgrades here and there, better stabilization, but nothing major has been said uh, regarding the standard models. The S21 Ultra is the one that will get the biggest update. Lastly, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is still rumored to rock the S Pen. It's gonna be the first time we have the S Pen capability on a S flagship phone. It will surely gonna change the history. Whether it comes built in or separately, we don't know. Even if it comes separately, Samsung can just solve that issue of having it built in by just offering a case. This will definitely help Samsung to simplify things and make a huge change uh, for its upcoming Galaxy Fold devices. Ice Universe even said that Samsung might even deliberately make the Galaxy S and Note series weaker in order to push more Galaxy Fold sales, which is actually insane. And to be honest, his theory is not wrong because the standard Note 20, if you look at it, it's more like a Galaxy A series phone. Maybe Samsung might implement some cheaper material on the standard S21 and have like more premium material on the S21 Ultra and the foldable devices. Again, that is just a pure guess at the time. Uh, we don't know what Samsung's ultimate decision will be when it comes to making these differences. But one thing that I do know is that a major, major shift is coming next year. Now, Samsung is about to hit Qualcomm where it really hurts. Apparently, the Exynos 1000 chip will not be made exclusive to Samsung flagship phones. In fact, it will be offered to other manufacturers as well, possibly at a cheaper price compared to Qualcomm Snapdragon 875 chip, which means Samsung is about to grab the competition and turn the heat up. If brands like OnePlus or Xiaomi decide to use Exynos chip in order to have that a cheaper price edge, then it's definitely gonna hurt Qualcomm a lot. If you guys remember, we have already heard that Samsung is working for Google to make Exynos chip for the next Pixel 6 device. That is already a sign that the flagship Exynos chip is coming to other smartphones. Not just phones, it's also rumored to run many Windows laptops. Now here is the total cost of making the Note 20 Ultra and you can see the Qualcomm chip. It has a pretty nice price. Obviously Samsung is saving all that cost on their Exynos model and they're likely to offer this kind of benefit to other brands as well. Next year, the Exynos 1000 is expected to close the gap with Qualcomm 875 chip. Exynos has to stay and get better or else it's literally going to be Qualcomm chips everywhere on all Android phones. Also, we have a huge surprising news. Apparently, Samsung will be the only brand that will manufacture all the Qualcomm 875 chips, not TSMC. According to the report from Hank Young, the contract between Samsung and Qualcomm is worth $844 million. The main reason why Qualcomm chose Samsung over TSMC is because Samsung offer the same 5 nanometer manufacturing but at a cheaper price. Rumor has it that not only Snapdragon 875 but Samsung will be manufacturing exclusively the 875G, 735G and the brand new Qualcomm 400 5G series of mid-range processors coming next year as well. Samsung's 
ultimate big goal is to become world's biggest semiconductor firm by 2030 and from the looks of it they're actually on their way of doing just that now last but not the least samsung has officially confirmed the galaxy s20 fe it's coming on September 23rd, there's actually going to be a live unpacked event. We've already seen all the official images of the phone. It's gonna be a Galaxy A looking phone with a plastic body, but with flagship Galaxy S20 specs rumored to come at $750. There are four colors. It's coming with Snapdragon 865 processor in the 5G markets and where there is no 5G, it's gonna come with the Exynos 990 in the form of 4G. Now, unlike the standard plasticky Galaxy Note 20, the Galaxy S20 FE will actually be coming with a 120 hertz rigid OLED panel, which is why it's actually a bit cheaper than the curved 120 hertz display you see on the standard S20. If you prefer flat display, then S20 FE is definitely the one to go for. I'm really interested to see what the actual pricing will be. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you guys excited about the Galaxy S21 series and what are your thoughts on the Exynos 1000? Do you think Samsung will be able to close the gap next year or do you think that it might not be possible? Drop your comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.